back to another video today. I am super, super excited for this because today I am reviewing Chocola acrylic pants, the 32 pack. Now, the reason I'm so excited about this is because I have never had anything Chocola brand before. I have looked them up and they seem to be really high quality and have just been really itching to try them out myself. And I finally got some. I actually won this in one of my subscribers art contests. Um, so thank you again, Gold Arts, for that. Also, I've been wanting to start painting with acrylics, but I didn't have any. So now I have some, so there are no excuses. And I can finally start to learn how to paint with acrylics. Let's hop right on into this review. Now this box is as you can tell, it's kind of big. It's not fitting in the whole frame of my camera, but it's pretty close. Let's go ahead and take the top off. I am so excited. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Just, just. These are just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow, and honestly, the tubes are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. I kind of expected them to be about maybe this size or something. So that, that does definitely surprise me uh, in a good way. I really, I really, really like these. Look how pretty. Look at these colors. Okay, so this one's rose. So pretty. Another thing I noticed is the packaging. The tubes appear to have been used, if you know what I mean, like um, some of the paint is scratched away. It kind of even looks like it was painted on, which I really like that. I really like that look. It's, it's actually quite neat. You see here the white just has some black on it because, you know, if you put white it wouldn't show up. But I also love that you get two whites because obviously they know how much you need white. Now I wonder, I wonder if they do that for black. So we'll check that out. But maybe you thought this is it. But let's look under here. Oh, even more colors. I'm gonna have to put these over here. There are so many. Look at these. Okay, so here's the black. It does not appear to come with two. However, I use white a lot more, so I'm really, really glad that they included two whites. I hear that sometimes you can prime your canvas with white, so therefore I would need more. And I, I think that was very thoughtful on their part. There are so many beautiful colors here. Look at this violet. Look at that so pretty. The camera does do it justice for once. Usually whenever I review a supplies or something, a lot of times the colors don't show up as well on the camera, but this time the colors do show up quite well. I am just, I'm just so excited to get these. Now, since there's only so much I can do to review this paint just by looking at it, I am actually going to make a mini painting. Using these, in real time and talking about it. So let's go ahead and get into that. I, I'm so excited to try these out. So I'm going to move this box over, bring in my canvas, and I'm just going to make a little test painting. Okay, now I have laid down a little bit of canvas and I used some of my washi tape from my BB Craft review video. If you haven't checked that out, I will leave a link to that video in the description as well. I think I'm going to do a small, simple aesthetic drawing, uh, painting. I see these all over Pinterest and they look super cute, so I think I'm going to try that out. Now I have chosen my colors. I decided to use this really pastel pink. It's called flesh tint, but I wouldn't just use this alone without mixing anything into it if I was painting a portrait because it's really more like that pastel pink you see everywhere. It's really not a skin tone just yet. I also found this purple, which just, it's just so pretty and they both go together so well. And then I was looking for a pastel blue to add for the sky. However, this is the closest I could find, so I'm going to have to mix it with a little bit of white to make it more of a pastel blue. 
these are the colors I'm going to use. And again, <laughs> I just absolutely love the packaging. Just it's just it's just so pretty. It really is. They they did an outstanding job on their part. Now, what's going to be interesting is to be honest, I've never really painted with acrylic paint. So this should be interesting, but I've seen enough of the paintings kind of like this that I, I should be okay. So I got a little tray to mix it up here. So that's just, I'm just going to set that here, dot on the paints that I'm going to use, and then we will move on. I also got some little paint brushes. I hope these work because these are probably the best ones I have. Might have to pick me up some more soon, but for right now I'm just going to use these. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pink here. I shouldn't need a lot because it's going to be kind of a small drawing, but you know, you can always get more and that's what I like. You don't have to put a lot. Purple. I hope this turns out sort of pastel-ish. That's even a word. <laughs> I hope this works because I would love to have kind of a pastel blue. white I hope that's not too much and then I'm gonna use my small brush to mix it ooh I think that I think it worked I think it worked yes perfect yay now I'm happy I mean I was already happy but not really happy <laughs> all right so I'll probably go ahead and start painting the sky although no now I'll go ahead and just paint the little mountain peaks. I'll put this here because this, the I'm only going to use this brush for blue. And then hopefully this works, so I'm just going to put some pink on it. I feel like I'm creating my own Bob Ross video. Let's see, paint some mountains. I, Like I said, I've never done this before, so... I mean, the paint goes on really nice. I, I really like it so far. It's, it's not streaky. But if any of you have been painting for a while and you see me doing anything wrong, please let me know. I, I would love to have some input. Now, it looks like I am going to need more paint. You know, I really like this paint. And, you know, maybe I'm not using the best technique, but... Unfortunately, I do not have anything to wash this off with, so I'm just going to lay this to the side. And I got it on my desk. Of course I did. <laughs> Alright, I got it off. It's on my hands, but that's okay, because, I mean, it's pink, so. Luckily, with me, I do have some of these brushes, so I'll just... I'll just pick one of them to use. This one's hard. Let's use... This one's kind of small, but it should still work. I think it would be better if my brush would just lay flat, but it's kind of not, so hopefully, hopefully this painting will turn out decent. But as far as the paint is concerned, I really like it. I'm gonna have to get more purple because I did not put enough. Another thing I notice is as it dries, it seems to gain kind of a darker color and that is okay however if you're just relying on that one color you may want to do a few layers I guess like I said I'm I'm no paint expert this is technically my first time so <laughs> I'm just trying not to get the pink on I really like this so far. This is cool. This is really neat. With this really tiny brush. But the colors are going well together. And what I like with acrylic paint is you can just go over, you know, your mess ups and it usually just goes away. Now I'm very, I'm very familiar with watercolor. I paint with watercolor quite often and unfortunately for that medium there is no way to fix your mistake because if you try to paint over you just end up with this 
mess. It ends up mixing the colors and it's so awful. I'm probably gonna have to make some more of this color. Hopefully I can, hopefully I can match it. Or maybe I can, maybe I can find a way to stretch this color so I don't have to. That'd be nice. I don't think these brushes are fantastic. They're okay, but I feel like I could do better if I had, you know, a little bit better quality brushes. <laughs> it just, it keeps bending and I'm gonna have to make some new colors, so let me do that real quick. I'm, when I paint um, as something kind of aesthetic, I am going to be mixing white with even these colors because they're not as light as I still want. They they tend to darken for some reason when they dry. So if, if you're wanting to go for a lighter color, I would suggest adding whites to this. I mean, this could be the same with other paints, but this, col this new color that I just mixed is a lot brighter which is kind of what I wanted. Now the pink and purple are actually a little bit darker than I was wanting. Probably what I'll try to do is mix this color just on the canvas. I'm telling you, it's this brush though, it's this brush. It's, it's not wanting to wield, wield, not wield, yield. It's not wanting to yield. Yield to the artist. I also should probably look up a guide for my next painting because it seems a little. This purple and pink are not exactly the color I was thinking. I wonder if I should go back over it with a lighter. Not a lighter, a lighter color. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I'm gonna go over it with a lighter. No, burn the whole thing. Burn the whole thing up. This is not my finest moment. But the paint, the paint is fantastic. I would recommend this paint. I love it. I love it. I will be using this more often. Just once, you know, I pick up a better brush. I think I'm going to have to scrap this idea of mountains. And I think once it dries, I'm just gonna take my liner, <laughs> my outliner, and just draw some designs in here. This paint is really good. I would definitely recommend getting it if you can. Another huge thank you to Chalkola for sending me these paints and also to Gold Arts who um, hosted the competition. I had a lot of fun entering and I absolutely love these paints. I am so excited to get to learn more about them and you know just to learn how to use <laughs> paint in general. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any other questions just put them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. You have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video. So real quick, this is what I ended up doing with the drawing. I did want to point out the fact that they do dry much darker than it appears on the paint bottle. So probably what you're going to want to do is mix it with white before you use any of them. So yeah, hopefully I'll get better at painting, but yeah.